Are you in the job market looking out for a job? Let's quickly talk about how you can plan your DevOps learning by looking at this roadmap. Let's say that this is you as a DevOps engineer or budding DevOps engineer. You definitely wanted to reach to the top. How can you get there? You need to have a strong Linux basics knowledge. You can log in into udemy.com. You can create account. You can sign up for any one of the you know, basic Linux courses based on your skill set. And then you need to have a strong SCM tools knowledge. You can learn more about GitHub or Bitbucket or Azure Repos. Uh, most of the companies are moving away from centralized version control system into distributed version control system, which is nothing but Git based. Okay, so you need to learn uh, more about Git and then Git based SCM tools. And then next thing is CACD tools. You need to have a strong understanding about what is CACD. And then there are various tools which will help you to achieve that. You can learn about Jenkins, GitHub Actions, and Azure DevOps. These are the popular CACD tools which you can learn. And then the next thing is configuration management. There are various tools under configuration management or infrastructure automation, but the top two is Terraform and Ansible. And then the scripting part of it. So you also need to have a strong scripting knowledge. If you do not have one, not a problem. You can learn more about Groovy scripting. You can learn about Python, or you can also learn more about AML scripting. That will definitely help you to get a job. And then the next thing is containers. Uh, many companies are moving away from monolithic architecture into microservices architecture. Uh, so the way you can implement that is by containerizing your application. You can use tools such as Docker and Kubernetes. And then of course, there is also another tool called Helm, which is nothing but package manager for Kubernetes. So Kubernetes is a container orchestration tool. Using Kubernetes, you can manage containers lifecycle. And then there are various Kubernetes as a service uh, you know, a product available out there in the market. Amazon EK is one of them, or you can also use Azure uh, Kubernetes service, AKS. So yeah, so that will definitely help you to get a job. And then the next thing is monitoring. Monitoring also is really important. You need to monitor your environments. So Prometheus is a monitoring tool which can collect the data and then Grafana is a data visualization tool. Using that, you can visualize the data. And the last but not the least, you need to have at least two cloud platform knowledge. It could be AWS cloud or Azure cloud or a Google cloud. At least two cloud platform knowledge you need to have. So that's all guys. So if you have all these tools knowledge, there is no reason why your job offer will be denied.